Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Wuzi Chen and I'm teaching points to uh, class. What I'm gonna share with the, my students today is the ability to demonstrate how to locate points on the body, on the front of the body, specifically as it relates to the uh, midline, so the Ren Mai vessel, and then the uh, kidney, which is just next to that. For now, before we actually go into doing that, let's just review some of the important landmarks, the body landmarks that we're gonna be measuring from to make sure that our work is correct, okay? So I'm gonna take you to the uh, lower abdomen first, and then we're gonna go into the upper abdomen, and then we're gonna talk about the chest. Uh, let's start with the lower abdomen. Okay, so other than REN1, which we're not gonna to demonstrate today at all, is actually starting with REN2 on the lower abdomen. To find that a measurement of five tune from the uh, belly button or the umbilicus to the superior border of the pubic bone, um, on a female patient especially, but anyone, we wanna be able to take our hands and we wanna press slowly to make sure that we know where is that begin. Oh, I can feel the bone with the blade of my uh, hand here. That means that right through that superior border is, is the um, superior border of the pubic sympathies on our patient here, okay? I'm gonna expose just a little bit right there. I can feel the bone. That to me is gonna be REN2. The measurement from REN2 to the belly button is five soon. What's important is to consider having three fingers with even distances because that would create five spaces which equa equate five tun. So we can talk about REN2, right of the superior border of the pubic symphysis, REN3, REN4, REN5, REN7, and then REN8 is the belly button. We're omitting the uh, uh, REN6 because REN6 is one of the odd ones. It's the one between my REN5 and REN7 right there, which is one and a half below the belly button, okay? So again, how we do that, we're gonna slowly slide back. We feel the tension of the ligaments attaching to that uh, bony landmark. That's our REN2, right at the superior border. Let's take three fingers, three fingers. Now we have five soon. We can do REN2, REN3, REN4, REN5, REN7, and REN8. Okay, REN6 in between them. Um, let's put a, a quick pause there. So point on me first. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna do now is to uh, talk about the upper abdomen segment, which we know uh, we have eight soon between the belly button and the sternocostal angle. So let's just look into the sternocostal angle first. So if you go down to uh, our patient here, uh, we have to understand the uh, rib cage. As you can see my fingers, that's the edge of the rib cage, right? And I'm continuing. Uh, because it's gonna go towards the area of the breast, I'm gonna ask uh, the patient to slowly bring up the breast just a little bit up, and we can continue that uh, distribution of the uh, inner borders until our fingers meet, which should be somewhere right, right there. Usually, you'll be able to tell that the xiphoid process is sticking down or inferiorly from that point. So I feel the bone here, I'm looking for the xiphoid process, and it's really hidden on our patient here. I would say that's the edge of the, the xiphoid process, but look, that finger here is actually where the uh, uh, coastals or the rib cage uh, right and left meet. So that would be my measurement for REN16, which is eight soon above or eight soon measurements right there, which means if this is REN8 and this is REN16, halfway right there is gonna be REN12, half of half, it's gonna be REN10. On the upper segment, between REN12 and REN16, that's gonna be REN14. And then every point in between, like we wanna do um, REN13, for instance, it's gonna be half of that. And then REN15 is gonna be half of that space. So we have 16 points. And I'll demonstrate those with stickers in a little bit, okay? Okay, so the last part of the um, REN my as far as like, importance to, to, to find our way there is gonna be the chest aspect. This segment is actually not uh, gonna be using soon measurements as much as it's gonna be relying on the inner costal spaces, the spaces between the, rib, the ribs. So let's be able to define what are the body landmarks that would help us correctly identify which inner costal space we are at. Because by that, we'll be able to really tell where we are and which point uh, we're gonna be uh, kneeling, okay? So let's, uh, Put a quick pause. All right. So the most important thing first to realize is that we have to understand that we have two clavicles that are making their way towards the center. 
and then right there between the medial aspect of those clavicles we have a notch this notch is known as the sternal notch or the jugular notch um, the angle where my index finger is pushing down onwards that angle here is called the, the suprasternal uh, angle and this point here in the middle of that depression is REN22. We talked about REN16. Now we have to be able to find the different um, intercostal spaces. So what is important to realize that we have a manubrium right there and the sternum goes below. There's a fine line of, um, of, a, of, of a, what we call a synchondrosis structure right there between my fingers right there. It's where the manubrium meets the sternum. Another term for that body landmark is the angle of Louis. Why is that important? Because that area right there, this is all bone, this is all bone, and then boom, we find some sort of like a crevice there. That's where the second rib is gonna be attaching to the sternum, okay? Which means the first rib is gonna be above. So let's find, again, sternal notch, going with two fingers, usually easier. That's gonna be our uh, angle of Louis, if you will. The second rib is going to be right here. The, the, the first intercostal space is going to be where my index finger right here. I can now push down. It's usually a little tender. That's the second rib I'm pushing on. If I'm pushing up, I'm going to hit the uh, uh, bottom of the first rib, which actually goes and dives under the clavicle. So that's the clavicle bone right here. And then the first rib is actually going and diving deep into that uh, or under that. Okay. So that means that that body landmark, that intercostal space is between the first and second rib. I'm putting my finger here and then changing, let's count. That's the first, going one below, that's the second intercostal space. Keeping my middle finger here, going one below, that's the third intercostal space. Keeping that one in, going one below, that's the fourth intercostal space, which means, so I wanna make sure I haven't lost it. Yeah, right there, which means REN17, which is a commonly used point, is going to be right at that level, right here. And there's usually some tenderness uh, for the person that is more pronounced around here. So that's regarding first, second, third, and fourth. The fifth one, we're going to be demonstrating after. Okay, so I hope it makes sense.